What's up guys, this is Sword Team again, and you're watching video number three in the X-Class build series. First off, we want to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you haven't seen our previous videos, we'll link them down below, part one and part two, that'll really get you caught up as to what we're doing. And we got some really cool stuff lined up today. We're showing you where our current stage is building wise, and we're gonna show you how we're gonna build this thing up. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So before we get into the build of this guy, we wanna pick up from where we left off, which was our design. Our last design was an H configuration, and the reason why we wanted to go with that was because we thought it was very durable and very easy to build. Now, going further in our design, we wanted to go with the stretch X configuration. The reason why we're going with this is because we noticed for X-Class we need to still be competitive and we wanted a good foundation to build off of. This saves our weight and we just honestly like the design a lot better. So that's why we went with this guy. So we saw a lot of people in X-Class started to use canopies in their design. So we thought since we're making a pretty unique rig, we wanted to make a very unique canopy as well. So that's why we said we wanted to 3D print a hood of our own made of ABS plastic. And what's really cool about this design is very sleek, very streamlined and it just comes in two parts as you see here. The only downfall to this design that we've noticed though is swapping out the battery. It's not the most easy thing to do. You'd have to take off the bolts that are mounted to this just to put the battery in and out. So in the near future, we're really gonna reiterate this design so swapping that battery out is a lot more seamless. So moving from the frame out, let's talk about the arms. In our previous video, you saw we had a red carbon fiber balsa core arm. We then took this arm to a stress test lab and found that it broke around 600 pounds of force. We feel extremely confident in that it will withstand X-Class racing conditions. Now, moving from the arm, let's talk about the motor mounts. So, how the actual motor mounts is, if you see here, this is a full built up one. The motor mounts to this plastic PLA piece here, like so, and then this plastic PLA piece mounts to the actual arm using bolts through these two sides here. So previously we were using the B-Rotor 950 KV motors, but big shout out to Reiner from Von Drone for sending us these awesome VX4114 400 KV motors, which will be used for this build, and the VX4114 666 KV, which will be used for a future build. Um, these motors are lighter, and the best props to use for these are the APC 1510s or the Master Air Screws 3212s. The really cool thing about these motors is that they're a little bit lighter than the previous motors we had, and the super sweet thing is that they actually match our build's color. Now that we finally explained everything about our build, let's get into the assembly. Now that we got this thing mostly assembled, check us out next week for our maiden flight. <laughs> 